I'm real cozy today. <laughs> We're zoomed in today. Welcome back to another episode of the Pals Podcast. I'm your co-host, Danielle Gallardo. And I'm Rick. It's so weird hearing you say Danielle. And I'm Ricky Liardi. Because I always call you Danny. And I, I, you always introduce yourself as Danielle too. So I actually used to have a thing that I didn't like people calling me Danny. Unless I knew them in high school. Because only Why? high school friends called me Danny. And like a group of these one guys I actually I met in high school. So it was like weird in university afterwards, people calling me Danny. So I was like, okay, I like it just for like my older friends. But then there's certain people now I don't care. I think Danny is so much easier, better, more fun than Danielle. Yeah, but I'll introduce myself. Like maybe at work I get it, Danielle. Like Danielle, the accountant. Yeah. Yeah, but I wasn't always like Danny, the fun blonde. No. Like, I don't know. I just found it weird. I teach their own. It's your name, so you can do whatever you want. You can call you me want. whatever you want. Okay. Poop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got, let's skip what we did this week. Actually, no, let's not. You had a very big weekend, actually. Tell us about um, your weekend. I had one of my best friend's yeah. weddings, and it was actually unbelievable. Everything, like, there was no detail missed. Walking into like the venue was at Ricardo's. Um, they just had everything, so like it was perfect. Highlight of the... Sorry. Logo. Highlight of the wedding. Uh, this sounds really weird. My favorite part of any wedding is the ceremony. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck, you learn something new about you every day. Uh, I love that. And it was at St. Michael's Cathedral in Toronto. Beauty, gorgeous yeah, beautiful, church. Beautiful church. Um, I love that. But then even just like getting to the reception after the cocktail, I always find it's like rush. You're saying hi to people. You're running around. It was just like in between the courses, I think that was the best part. Because then like people are standing up talking, yeah, grabbing drinks. And then like we're dancing in between, then we're like going back. Like, What was your main? I had the beef. Like, okay. Like, you're asking me like my main. like Yeah, of course. For food. Oh, I had the short rib. Okay. It was really good. Food was really good. I just feel like I ate so much pasta that it didn't eat as much. Like, I think I had two bites yeah. of my actual main, but the food was good. They had a live band? 13 piece band. Unreal. Great job, Lisa. Every Fennett. wedding needs a band. I'm not even kidding. They were so amazing. I agree with that. Um, there was a DJ afterwards, but the band, like everyone was dancing. Beautiful voice. Like it was so good. Like the vibes were there. Oh, such a good job. Congratulations, Lisa and Fab. Woo! And if you guys don't know Lisa and Fab, Danielle or Danielle's coworker slash I guess boss. They're my bosses. Yeah, bosses. But also my friends. But also friends. Uh, Fab, we were supposed to have on the pod numerous times. I think we just never did. Yeah, we'll have them on soon. Okay. Well, Fab, if you're listening, congrats, Lisa. Congrats. Uh, Danny says the wedding was top notch. So, uh, if you guys want to see more, go follow Danny on Instagram. She posted a picture for the first time in what two three months. Yeah. Went live. I know, and I so I guess I apparently just never comment on Danny's. Instagram post and she called me out on it yesterday. So if you go see, I've commented on literally all of Danny's 50 posts. I now. actually giggled because a lot of your comments were actually really funny because it's like you just went back all at once. Oh, I, were, I was trying to be creative in all of them. Like, but you just run out of time and energy and effort. There was one that I saw and actually. The one where you're like, I'm blue. And I'm like, yeah, BB Rex a remix. Yeah, it was, <laughs> was good. good. It's just all me on your notifications right now. Like, it's just so, like, to me and Becca, Tom Hanks would track you down instantly. Like, yeah, because, I just, do you see what the caption was? Catch me if you can. Catch us if you can, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying, you were so clever. Like, Tom Hanks would get you in a second. And you wrote, then you wrote, I'm blue, because I guess you were wearing a blue outfit. And I'm like, David, get a BB Rex or remix. remix. Yeah, my Tell blue me. wig picture. Yeah. Yeah, anyways. Um, anyways, good wedding. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Danny's birthday is coming up in two weeks. That's exciting news. Uh, and then other than that, let's get into the ep- Unless there's anything else? I think that's it. We had uh, Alyssa and Hash on. Uh, some of you have, may have seen them on TikTok. Uh, Hash and Liz. Yes. And it was really fun. We talked a lot of food. Again, so like... Yeah, lately we've been talking a lot of food, actually. We talked a lot of food with Scott Hallman. Uh, Alyssa's a good friend. She's been on the pod before. She's former Miss Universe Canada. Hash and, and Alyssa have been dating for probably a couple of years now, I guess a year and a half, two years. But they just started TikTok about a year ago, and they're already like killing Less. it. Yes, their anniversary, they said, was August 7th. Yeah. They're one year. And, uh, one year on TikTok, and they're almost at like 200,000 followers, just absolutely killing the TikTok game. I don't want to give any spoilers, but let's say everybody's favorite TV chef, uh, commented on their tiktok actually more than commented yeah do it yeah i don't want to give it away pretty just, cool just wait till very listen. cool experience listen to this you'll hear it in the first five ten minutes and not, honestly danny 
let's fucking go <laughs> You've been on this pod before. Okay, well, I was in the studio last time. So we were in the home Bigger studio upgrade. now. <laughs> no, now it's, do you know what? When we have friends on, it's a, I actually prefer to do it in here because it's more like homey and cozy. Cozy, yeah. When we don't have friends on, it's kind of like, it's just, we have one you can't it's do here chaos. when it's not friends. Like you, when it's when it's not a friend, you can't have them here just because it's again it's a home studio. Yeah. yeah. But dear lady, I feel like I'm I'm more at home here, obviously. Oh, I feel uncomfortable like when I'm there too. And like really? I don't like the seats there. I see. Yeah, it's yeah. great place. Thank you so much for letting yeah, us use we it. We love dear lady. Like uh, above parlor. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. not been to dear lady yet? Yeah. I have. No, we have. Like, did, yeah. did you did you do a podcast? Yeah, there? that's where, yeah. that's our like secondary studio. Oh, sick. That's so do you know the corner? So when you walk in through like the bathroom area, yeah. you turn right. There's like a little corner, which is probably the size of my condo. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little yeah, bit yeah. smaller than this. And there's a nice little corners with all the graffiti there, and we set yeah. up the lights, and it actually looks really good online. You haven't watched oh, an episode? No. Hash, you've never even listened? <laughs> I've listened. Alyssa, I've you don't listened. listen anymore either. I go on your TikTok. I go on your TikTok channel for the watch the, the pals. clip. Okay. And I used to like go through them. I was like, these yeah. are sick. We appreciate yeah. it. We watched the clip. Oh yeah, and by Not the way, from your old studio though. Yeah. By the way, lover, yeah. keep the mic close to your mouth. Keep it so Alyssa close. knows. Fun Alyssa tip. knows. <laughs> we no, we keep also, it. this is the bad mic. <laughs> we also got to speak louder, too. Yeah. You know? This is the bad mic. It doesn't work as good. So we said from now on, this will be my mic. Because I'm loud the loudest. Because he screams, anyways. It doesn't matter I what he scream. does. Yeah. Hash always talks really light. So. Yeah, I do. I have a soft voice. I know. know, and I'm the one yelling. Sometimes <laughs> when I edit my video, I'm like, oh, God, talk so loud. That's what, when we were listening so to the last annoying. podcast, I was listening to it. And I'm like, I'm so fucking loud. I'm like, Poor Scott, you can barely hear him. And like, we put his volume all the way up, yeah, yeah. but he had this mic we didn't know. Oh, that's so that's why today we said, well, you know what? We're going to find it and make sure that we fix this so that I always use it. Yeah. And here we are. Because you're yeah. loud. The loudest. Yeah. Anyways, let's jump into it. Well, Unless thank you, you for having us here. Oh, we'll gosh, start with that. Of course, of course. <laughs> last, uh, last time Alyssa was on was what, a year ago? Two now. Probably. Was it two it was years before ago? me. Yeah, probably two years. Yeah. Holy shit. When Alyssa, she was when she was famous. Yeah, Alyssa, your episode <laughs> did well though. Thanks. It was I remember saying because you were Miss Canada, Miss Universe Canada. Yeah. Hello. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Yeah, <laughs> and you also Kingsville sponsored the pod at that time. You mm -hmm. gave us that sick fridge. Mm hmm. That was where exciting. did that go? Uh, George has it at his nice. office now. I think it's in like the back of his office. Or I something. love that. It was a great fridge. Yeah. And then now you guys have well, I guess you guys are obviously dating. For those of you who don't know, Hash and Alyssa are dating. This is lover and, and lover. They lover are and lover. possibly one of the biggest cooking. TikTokers in Toronto. Yes. We're, we're getting there. I feel like you <laughs> are. Who's bigger than you guys in I Toronto see, for I cooking? We're getting there. I, I don't see, know. I, I don't know Who's a lot Toronto? of cooks. There's a couple downtown. good couples from Toronto, but they don't cook. Yeah. Who are. Oh, what's the other one's name? I see them too, but they do more comedy stuff. Jed and Jada. Yeah, Jed and Jada. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. I think they're from Va Vancouver. I think she she's is. from Vancouver. He's, He's from, from Toronto. Oh, okay. But they They're got really big. Yeah, yeah, they got really big really quick yeah, too. They did, yeah. Oh, we're I was looking at their stuff today. Yeah. They're they're getting up to Yeah, why don't you just one, rip them off? One, one thirty. Right. They're yeah. at one thirty. <laughs> they're, they're coming to us. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're cute. They do good stuff too. Yeah. But yeah, we're the only cooking ones, I think. How did you guys like yeah. decide to start like with the cooking? So oh, great one day, yeah. Uh so one day I was just Obviously, when at the beginning when we started seeing each other, I would just cook for her. He put a lot of effort in back I, then. I did a lot of effort. <laughs> I did put a lot of effort into cooking, and I would just like make her like sick meals, and she'd be like, yeah. "Oh my god, this is like like chef meals." Like she's like, "Yeah, I, I had to, to film it." This. Yeah, and she's like, one day she's like, "Let's make TikToks. Let's put a camera behind it and see how where it goes." Yeah. And then like two months later, we're like. 50,000 followers in. Yeah, you guys like blew up quick. Really yeah, like yeah. really, really fast. It really did well. Cool. I think yeah. it was because we were like kind of, you have to be cringe in order to do well on TikTok, Ricky, you would know. Yeah. But like, <laughs> <laughs> you definitely need to, a little bit of cringeness and I think we brought that right away. Oh yeah. Because we were just the lovey like the lover, thing, like you know, making like out just, the whole time, yeah. licking my face. It was yeah. like, extreme so i think the lover thing works for you guys too and i think one big thing is obviously like the interracial couple here too because yeah that is huge and normally i wouldn't say because Alyssa, obviously you're very good looking has you're a good looking dude too <laughs> sometimes you. people 
don't like the good looking couples. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like, like you're, you're not like very it's like, not realistic. We're not re- yeah. relatable, right? Yeah, yeah. And they, I feel like maybe more good looking people like are too scared to like be themselves and like get ripped apart because you like maybe hold yourself higher. But for us, we're like, screw it. Yeah, yeah. it is because you guys are like, yeah. I don't want to say cringe because you're not as cringe as I am, but like the, like the whole like lover side. <laughs> yeah. and plus I like, think, no, I think anybody that makes a lot of contact and, and content and produces it, they have to do something that nobody else is willing to do. Yeah. Yeah, and you have, we put yeah. in the time that everybody else is too scared to put in. Yeah, yeah. because they're afraid. The, the yeah. one thing I, again for you and Alyssa, I think I told you this at the beginning. The best part about your content is that it's something you have to do every day, anyways. Yeah, it's not like me where I can go a week without making a TikTok because maybe I have nothing to say about dating. Yeah, you yeah. can't go a week without eating. Yeah, so maybe you true. just forget to film it some days. But yeah, yeah. You, you literally can't go more than a day, two days without eating. Well, I think that's the biggest thing too of like any advice I ever give to people who want to start TikTok, it's so much work to actually put in what you need to in order to succeed that it has to be something you one love to do, but also it's easy. Like there's the kitchen never moves. Like our set never it's changes. So wait, if we spot. come over right now, is the set up? No, the lights aren't. No, no, no. Yeah. But it's like it's, one move away. It's, it's a ring light. a minute work. Like yeah. the camera, everything, you just put it right away. Because there's like our scene go. every time it starts is our faces with our kitchen. So it's almost effortless mm-hmm. that it makes it so much easier for us to film every day. Yeah. Mine's literally say my car talks. Like when yeah. I do them in the car, yeah. I have my little set. I'm at you just gym, put your I phone on. I think of something to say, clip the phone, open TikTok, you know, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. But that's yeah. like the hardest part is I set up. I watch a lot of other food TikTokers who have like actual like crazy, crazy setups. And they always set up the day before because setting up and filming is like too much. Really? Because their setups yeah. are like literally insane. Oh, There's it's like extreme. poles they hanging. Got, like, the boxes. The camera's the boxes. like. Oh, yeah. Because you have the upper, the yeah. upper yeah. shot. Like, I just picture setup. like Alyssa over Hash's shoulder watching <laughs> no, her with the it's camera. It's just like my hand in the camera She's or like. like no, other hand. You're blocking the camera. Yeah. <laughs> like, get out of the yeah, way. Though, like, Hash also, like, it makes it more organic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, true, true. And it's like kind of like part of your bit now, both yeah. of you guys together. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it works. Like, do you, have you ever made TikToks alone? Like, one of you without the other? Alyssa does them yeah, all do. the time. She, no, okay. She carries the team, honestly. <laughs> okay, but Lover always does too, but we never post them because they're so bad. I, I, like, I'm not good today. with the camera or setting it up or taking the perfect shot because every time I'm cooking, Alyssa's like, start the camera. You know, she's I like, start, I stop. She, she ang- but you're, you're the chef. Right. She's, she's the producer. Yeah. So like, you're, you're the talent. Yeah. You're I'm the, the talent, talent yeah. behind the kitchen. That's all I can do, but she can. But we try when we're like, she not can do take, both. Yeah, well, I'm good at everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, no, <laughs> I gotta say that. Okay, no, I'm not that great at <laughs> Who cooking. Who taught you? Yeah, you tell me how to cook, but, um, Oh, I lost my train of thought. It's okay. What's your what's the favorite what's your favorite meal you've ever had together? Actually, two part question. Favorite meal you've ever cooked together and favorite meal you've ever had in your entire life. Oof. Oh, and then we're gonna do death row meal right. after. That that's that's a cooked, tough one. Cooked together, I feel like um we make it well <laughs> we <laughs> Lover Hash does it while we we. record. <laughs> we um Hash makes a mean seafood risotto and I think that I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, I think that might have been one of my favorite I mean you make really good risotto anyways, but our seafood risotto was probably one of my our favorite. Seafood things. Risotto. Yeah, our seafood risotto. <laughs> my seafood risotto. Uh, no, I, I yeah, I would say that. And uh we had a lobster series. I, don't oh, know. Yeah. I remember that. I the saw lobster that. Was I, we were actually just talking oh, about this last, yeah, week, last week. I think on the podcast because yeah. I was like, oh, I'm like too scared to actually like cook fish. Uh, like, like I never grew up eating fish, but like yeah. I love it now. Yeah. I'm too scared to cook it. I'm like worried I'm gonna do something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I saw your lobster one like alive. That, like, was, I, that, that would, was my first time killing a lobster. I've oh, I would kill before. myself. I would not be able to do that. Yeah. Well, you've killed like actual animals before. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's worse. But yeah, I'd, no, but I'd rather go like shoot something for fun. It was no to eat. Like, yeah, to eat. He's from Sudan, yeah. so like we yeah. like butcher our own animals in our backyard. I think I could do that. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't mind the animals. It's the, yeah. the fish. Well, really? I'm the opposite. I would yeah. rather go like and go hunt and go like no. have to go like shoot something and like do that than have to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Honestly, fish freaks me out too. I can never like get it really? off the hook while it's like. No, I could skin a fish. I don't like, want to touch it. I don't want to, but I could skin a fish no, before I could no, ever touch no, an no. animal. Really? Yeah. No, I could but how you got fish. so scared with the lobster? Or yeah, was that she, just a show? No, I was, I was like, gonna say, yeah, generally. I actually scared. almost yeah. puked. I was no, not. She well. was. She cried. Yeah, I did cry. She cried on video. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I we don't made know. A cool series out of that. Like, no, it was a, a good of, series, but yeah. yeah, you're right. But like, I couldn't even imagine that being like a, a large, real like mammal. Like, no, no way. 
And I wouldn't even it, be in the room. That wasn't even the largest one we could have got. No, we want to do a king crab once, but like oh, like a live one, but I don't yeah. know. I actually just saw someone on TikTok and had a crab, and it was like literally probably like your height. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't think a crab gets my. It eye. was. I'm well, gonna like find if it. You put, like, the middle, like, if you, no, no, it was like with the legs it. and everything. Like, the actual like, yeah. it was like the, massive. massive. Yeah. No, I, like, like, I don't think they I get my. This. I don't think they. Come, like, like maybe. Well, I guess if you stretch out the legs and like yeah. lay it out on a table, like like it would be six. But like yeah, the base is like massive. Like I mean they're, the base, the center. I don't know the head. They're not like a meter wide. No. Let's see. We'll find out. On this lobster series, random question, but do you ever get any like pita people? Like come at you for um, killing animals, for like eating meat and shit. No, uh, no, not, not really. With the lobster one, everybody's like, "Oh, that was inhumane." Blah blah. Yeah, blah. because I feel like that is humane. Holy fuck! Yeah, that Holy is huge. It's <laughs> massive. Holy shit. That, it's that a Japanese massive. spider crab. Yeah. Wow, that that's actually. Massive. Yeah, okay, I think right. I would cry. Stand I couldn't correct, be close Danny, to that. You are correct. Yeah, that's that was not over exaggerating for once. That not come to the condo. You were under exaggerating. That thing's way bigger than me. I like saw your eyes. I'm like, okay, good. I'm like Danny no, could, she's lying. Danny over exaggerates everything. So now that she's actually like under exaggerating something, it's like okay, I love it. Yeah. I love You're that. some brownie points, Danny. That's so funny. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, no, that couldn't. I couldn't be in a small that, space massive. with that. Yeah. Um, but we do okay. get the steak people. Like whenever it's raw, they're like, we can yeah. never eat but that. But nothing. But or nothing like, against animals. Though. Yeah. No. Like we don't have a lot of like. Yeah. There's one really. or two comments. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, Hash, the com- I'm the comment guy. Hash is you read them? I read them. But he's I reply. in charge of answering. Oh, you reply. I, I reply. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of his jobs. That's my job. Yeah. Yeah. See, that'd be so, so nice if I had someone that also had my account that could just yeah. reply to comments. Yeah. Is, the problem is you can't. I don't know if you guys find this. So a lot of my TikToks are you know 30 seconds a minute or yeah. even under 10 seconds, and I'll go to reply to comments, but it stops my music because I do everything at the gym. Yeah. And all my content is basically done at the gym. Yeah, I hate that about on the, TikTok. On the Stairmaster, that's when I get all my stuff done. But when I open it, it pauses my music. Yeah. And then, you have and then to I like got to pause the, I got to pause. Yeah, I got to yeah. open the TikTok, pause the TikTok, play yeah. my music again, respond to comments. But it's like, I want to do, do a whole bunch or I want to yeah. go buy like the newest notifications. And Yeah. I think that, you need two phones. That's, that's a bone to pick though with TikTok. I think you need two phones. It should play at the same time. Yeah. That's what I should or say in, like an iPad. No, I can't. No, but that. Instagram plays at the same time. Yeah, Instagram doesn't say it's up, TikTok. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's but that's a bug they'll probably fix well, eventually. And on Instagram, you can reply to the comment from your notification center. No, I, you can do that yeah, on TikTok. I realize now. that, but you can also like when you're replying. Sometimes you can message them instead of replying. Yeah. On them. No, that, but you can do that on TikTok. Up. You really? can go on notification center, like the comments section. Oh yeah. And, and you can reply to comments yeah, yeah, yeah. from yeah. there, from and there. it won't shut the music off. Yeah. For me, I have it's to go new, to the though. video because... So maybe I don't have the new TikTok. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe I, maybe For I me, I have that. to go to the video because Alyssa sometimes will comment right yeah. after the video is posted. Oh, so, then so, gotta, so like, I don't want to double comment, so I do have to go to the yeah. video. Yeah. Okay, I have a question for all of you guys, content creators. <laughs> you <laughs> people. All, yeah, you guys. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> no, no, no. You but like, people. you know, all the talk about like, oh, like how like TikTok, there was like certain bands, like all that talk a couple months ago, how they were going to ban TikTok, or oh, remove yeah. it, and you couldn't download, yeah. whatever. Would you continue putting out these video on like YouTube or Instagram? We yeah, if you didn't have TikTok, we would move. We would move. Canada. We would move. Yeah, so we but can go two, back to yes. TikTok. So yeah, you would Ready? say like every like TikTok's gone forever. Yeah, I would continue to oh, do yeah. it. Yeah. Just go somewhere like and go to another platform. We, yeah, we definitely hit up Facebook, YouTube. Honestly, Facebook is a weird one. Yeah, like, we have like twenty six thousand followers. So I want to talk. Like people forget that Facebook is still the yeah. biggest platform. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe TikTok might have passed it, but yeah, yeah. Facebook has like billions of users. Literally like two billion. Or we something. just watched we the social remember, network so there's yesterday. A different <laughs> age group on Facebook. Yeah, that it's that it's that yeah. thirty five plus that yeah. most. Yeah. But again, I'll post when I remember to do it because I even talked to you about this. Yeah, all the content that you that you make on any channel repurpose it for everything right yeah. so twitter you have threads now any real any instagram photo also post it to twitter and facebook any videos reels facebook reels tiktok youtube yeah. shorts snapchat whatever so any like one video is like six pieces of content if you think about the different platforms Literally. and you never know what's going to take off i had a tiktok that may have did maybe 10,000 views with my 200,000 followers. Yeah. And I posted it on Facebook reels and I had maybe like my fan page had 500 views or 500 followers. And it did like 2 million views and I got like 5,000 followers from it. Yeah. That happened to us on Instagram. Yeah. That too. Some videos will do shitty on TikTok, but as soon as you put it on Instagram, it'll just blows up. And it's an extra selling feature where you're like selling it to like your like ad agents or whatever. Right. 
it's like, hey, like sometimes I'll do it as a bonus because I know all my ads on TikTok do terribly, like yeah. terribly, and I feel bad. These clients are giving you like two thousand dollars, three thousand. I think ads on Facebook do really great. A lot of people comment on the Facebook yeah? ads. Yeah. Well, I'll just repurpose it on Facebook just as like a bonus. I'll be like, oh, by the way, like here's the stats from the TikTok. It didn't do as well as I thought. Ha ha. Here's <laughs> here's the Facebook. Uh-huh. Well, it's like ha ha because like I I know this isn't gonna work. Well, like we're not says, hiring you. Again. It says <laughs> ad in. As soon as you write hashtag ad, boom, done. I know, yeah. but the other it's true. problem is the algorithm. They won't. They won't let it do well. Sometimes. There's this guy from Toronto. What's his name? Josh. Oh, our guy. Oh my god. Our guy. <laughs> this guy is brilliant. I don't know his with name, his but ads, he's a man. comedian, he's and his ads good. are so fire because like, you never know it's an ad because he's so funny. Yeah. But does he write ad on it? Yeah. Yeah. And they like, do well. Yeah, they yeah, do and well. It says paid partnership on so the bottom and all. That I did stuff. one. Where but it's so. I good. did one with a cell phone case, and I was like, "Hey, how do I not make this an ad? I'm gonna like play around with it." So I start. My phone's on its clip. It's me in the car. Like very normal start. Yeah. It's like the things I you know, like. You know what I hate about dating or something like that. And then like my phone falls from like its magnetic thing and it, it's promoting the new like magnetic yeah, phone yeah, case, yeah. right? So I was like, that was perfect. I did it and it fucking did so bad. And I was just like, how like, how do I win this? Like that, Sometimes that was such an I, organic. We were, we were I have talking, an idea. We were talking about this yesterday. Yeah. You got to stay organic with your content too, right? Like you got to stick. It, that one was he saying. That it one was, it well. wasn't it like, I was like, I'm not going to make this an ad. I'm going to try and make this as organic as possible. How do I do this? Okay. Yeah. All my contents in the car were promoting. And I picked the phone case that like had the magnetic, the mag safe strip or whatever, where you yeah. charge and magnet at the same time. And I did it. And it was, I thought it was like, this is a perfect ad. Perfect for my brand. I did everything that like theoretically check off the box. You know, it's like you see those creators that say you got to do this, 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 and yeah. this. Yeah. I'm like, I checked off all those boxes and it did poorly. Okay. Wait, I know why. Why? Because you know when you watch the Super Bowl and some of the ads are like not memorable, some of them are mediocre, some of them are like, I don't know. Some of them are like, okay, that was the funniest thing ever. I think it's that ratio. It's the same thing because like no matter what, like some people are better than others and like we do a couple skits and they're brutal. Like I'm not an actress. I can't act. I'm only reality type of girl. So like when we act, I'm just like, I watch myself. (laughs) Yeah, I watch myself and I'm like, Okay, this Retake. girl. Yeah, this Hash, get back here. <laughs> she gets so frustrated in front of the camera. Because I'm, like, I'm so just, awkward. Like, I'm just, just not a... Just yeah. pretend the camera's not here. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, even on the Super Bowl, there's some that aren't good and are good, and these guys spend millions and millions. So, like, I think it's just, like, what was, how it like, goes. What'd you do on the ad? Like, if you, you gave me... It. So, it was okay. It was the phone. Like, I clipped my phone with the case yeah. on the... On its thing. I was like, you know what I hate about dating? Boom. And then, I like, in the background, unclipped the phone, so it fell down. Yeah. And you see me reach out. I'm like, this fucking phone case. And then I come and it starts again, like me and him. I was like, okay, well, I, obviously the, the freaking phone case sucks. So like I went to go get a new one. Yeah. yeah. So it was very like, you know, the first three seconds is your hook. Yeah. My first three seconds I thought was such a good hook. Cause yeah. like, yeah. you see me talking, you know what I hate about dating, which I had dating TikToks currently going viral. So I'm like, perfect timing, perfect everything. Phone clips and you're kind of like, oh, what the fuck? Like, yeah. I thought it was good and it just, it did. Tanked. Poorly. <laughs> I ended up paying to promote it myself because I felt so bad for the client. Yeah, wow. like but I'll pay yeah. for sometimes on my own just because I genuinely feel bad that these clients are giving me. Was it your first one? No, it wasn't even my first. It was probably like my. It was last year, and last year I did a frick. But it's also like ideas. luck too, because it's like the viewers that are on at the time and who gets seen, and like if they react and if they're in the mood. Like, there's so many little factors yeah. to why things do well that it's like yeah, and, even and when and we think something's great, like some of our worst videos have gone viral, and I'm like, yeah. I still so don't know. We how. have some great videos that just don't do anything hash made an amazing eggs benedict and we're still sad that it flopped because it was probably one of his best recipes and nobody saw it it's the worst feeling (laughs) it's It's the worst feeling when you make this TikTok. i'm like this is going viral this is gonna go mega viral it's like i know it i know it song and it's just like no one likes it nobody likes it it's those days where you're like okay because you know when the algorithm's on your side those days where you have your weeks where you're like I beat this game. Yeah, yeah. they love I'm, us. I'm on fire. Like every time you open the fucking notification page, it says 99, 99. <laughs> like you're, yeah. you're just winning. Yeah. And you're like, all right, I'm in the rotation. The algorithm's on my side. Boom. This one, this is a home run. Yeah. You post it's like almost like it hurts the algorithm. You start going in. The, I'm like, yeah. how is that possible? Yeah. This was a home run. I was a hundred percent sure. I would have bet money that this was a home run. Yeah. And it's like. 5,000 yeah. views. TikTok just controls our emotions. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it tells us when like, we're happy and when we're not. We do so bad with trends and then one day we just did a random trend 
and it hit like eight million views. Yeah, that's our best of, video. Ever. It's that's our really best video. Million, yeah. That's yeah. Our only one though. That's but it was like a, one. a funny little trend, and I was like, oh, I don't know if we should post this. Kind of like man. Yeah. Does well. Yeah. It, I was, same thing with voiceover. Sometimes you do like a random shit voiceover, and boom. Yeah. yeah. But voiceover, I feel like it takes a lot of practice because like yeah. your first voiceover, like I remember, like I still like I remember giggling. Which at was it my first just, voiceover? I don't know. Well, you didn't add last year, and you had a voiceover. I could not stop laughing. So I'm like, not this voiceover. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Not voiceover. I was talking about um. The sounds, the trending sounds. You do like a sound one. Oh, yeah. okay. oh like a, a skit kind yeah. of thing. When it's like you know, it's someone else's sound, and you just reuse yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like words in the background or something. Yeah. yeah, I did one like that, and I remember as um, I made it here one night randomly before bed. I saw it, and I was like, "Yeah, it's, it's dating related. Let me use it." And it's something like, "Don't talk to me," because like my I love my crush, and she doesn't know I exist. Something like that. Something yeah, stupid, yeah. right? And I did. I'm like. I was just gonna story it because I was like, oh, whatever. But someone told me, don't story anything. Just post it because you never just know. Post it, you never know. I did. Went to bed. I posted it late. It was like eleven o'clock. Woke up. Just boom. Half a million by the time I woke up. Yeah. And if it does, if you do like two hundred or three hundred thousand in your first like couple hours, you're gone. You're yeah. you're off. Yeah, races. yeah. Like it's a surprise sometimes. Like one day I went to like this sandwich place called Black Camel. Up. Uh, have you been there? Yeah, it's so it, good. Yeah, uh, it's really good. It's fucking amazing. Anyways, I was in the car by myself. I did a review on it. And it hit like I know, and I remember him day. showing me, and I'm like, Meh. it was my Alyssa, first. Alyssa's like, shit, TikTok, you got lucky. <laughs> yeah, you got lucky. You need me. Yeah, you, um, need, you need me. Yeah, I gotta preface <laughs> this. Every viral video we have is all his idea. That's why he's our creative director. So he's the one wow. with the, the creative. Oh. Nothing's my idea. I'm the producer. You're just I'm a pretty the, face. Yeah. I'm the agent. But Hash is good looking filming. too. So yeah. He uh, does a, a lot yeah, of our yeah. like one million to two million videos. Yeah, I think I have like maybe one or two. We we'll go through it sometimes, and yeah. he puts me in my place. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I carry the team. <laughs> you do in that sense. What's that death row meal, both of you individually? Oh my god, everyone's gonna hate me, but soup. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, first that's I not mean, detailed enough. Yeah, yeah. To, like, are, are, are you soup? only having soup? Like you can have anything. Like, like I fun. know, I, I like man, chicken noodle. Like minestrone, if you go Italian soup, soup, what kind of Italian soup? No, like yeah. chicken noodle soup, like homemade. Italian wedding soup. That yeah, Wait, it's weird. you're gonna die, and you're gonna have chicken noodle soup. Nothing else. Like I that's your death row. That's your last meal. I swear, death. I like love soup that much. I know it's weird. And maybe a cheeseburger. Like like, a I've been fucking slaving in the kitchen for two years now. <laughs> and that's I all you love. love. Dude, every time he leaves me for a bit, I only make soup for myself. I don't Bro, know. I'm just like obsessed. She doesn't eat anything but soup. Hash like, comes home. It's like, I go away wow, we spent no days. money on groceries this week. <laughs> this is great. Uh, and then you check the no, garbage. Produce like is cans expensive. of Campbell's fucking <laughs> chicken noodle soup. No, I have to make it. No, she makes it from I, scratch. Yeah, I have to make it from scratch. But yeah, yeah soup. Okay, terrible answer. One of the worst <laughs> answers I've ever heard. But Hash, over to you. I feel like you've got a really good one. The more detailed, the better. Oh, and you okay. can have like courses like anything like it doesn't just have to be like well, we go overboard yeah i know we go extreme it's like one it cafeteria like a, like a course you know? oh no no we i have like a full course like okay. we but again we're just it's, doing extra it's my last day yeah, yeah. It's, you're gonna die okay wait, i didn't have a course well because you chose chicken soup. noodle soup, chicken noodle soup. <laughs> okay fine and a cheeseburger i love a good burger from where you can't just say cheeseburger <laughs> Or else I just go to the okay, guy wait, the wait, wait, wait. Like, one of ha Hash's homemade burgers. Aww. <laughs> what season? What are you putting on it? A smash burger. Actually, he made a really good mushroom melt. It was delicious. Uh -huh. But I actually just like a regular burger, like hot sauce, mustard, onions. Yeah. Okay. I'm simple, even though I eat really well. <laughs> M mine, might, mine might be a little bit snobby. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it, Hash. Okay, so I'm starting with an appetizer. It's bone marrow. With beef tartare. Oh, really that's good. That's a good one. Top but you have to make caviar. it though. <laughs> oh, hash is off to a and very truffle. good start. I gotta what change about, my what about a wagyu steak with caviar? <laughs> oh, hold on. That, that's just an appetizer. <laughs> Relax. Bone marrow to start. That's good, Hash. Yeah. No one's ever said that. Yeah. I would do that. And I would go a ribeye steak for like a ribeye, like a surf and, turf, surf and turf. Good question, Alyssa. Ooh. <laughs> I'll go, it, it I'll, go 20, I'll go with 20 hours. Yeah, you don't have to finish it all. Yeah, yeah. You just, again, it, yeah. Changes, it changes the well, taste. Well, no, Hash doesn't waste anything. He I has to I don't finish waste it all. Food. <laughs> You're going to die anyway. Like, so, yeah, so. exactly. My my plate is like oh, anywhere right. we go. No, everybody's I'm, plate. You it's eat. done. It's yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. Okay, I Rabbi, how are you food. cooking it? Medium rare. Okay. Medium rare. Any seasoning on it? Uh, I would actually get chimichurri on the side just because it's like my favorite like sauce to go on top of it. Sides? Obviously, surf and turf. I said surf and turf. Lobster. Preferably, actually. Scallops. You love scallops. Yes, but 
It's Any sides? A little Brussels sprouts, maybe? No, Truffle fries? No. No? no. Wow. No. Okay, just, I love just, that. Just a steak okay. with the chimichurri. My mouth is watering. I just yeah. melted. <laughs> Can't wait to eat later. What else? <laughs> I saw, I want a cheesecake as my last with caviar on top of it. Oh, yeah. Caviar She's making caviar. Yes. Wow. It's a uh, TikTok thing, too. Yeah. yeah. We haven't tried it yet. What about uh, your other dessert? Cumberly? Yeah. Uh, well, Alyssa's, you, Alyssa's smashing this question for hash yeah. and gave us chicken noodle soup. Wait, do Literally. you know what you guys should ask? What each other's would be? Yeah. Because I well, probably would have got most of that right and he would have got mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love lovers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about you? Wait, like, what, what? is there any drinks? Either, neither of you guys... Ooh. Like, you're not washing fuck. that down with water. No. No, I'm not washing Ooh, that down with water. Oh, a Caesar. Caesar? With your chicken noodle Caesar. soup? Okay, noted. <laughs> Okay, if I didn't meet hash, I'm literally the worst eater. But Seriously. Like, yeah. you want chicken fries. How many times do I crave it? Maybe, like, even a Mr. Noodle package. Bro, it's chicken with. wings, chicken <laughs> fingers, burgers, no pizza. She hates cheese. Yeah. Um, yeah, and soup. And Caesar. I'm a simple gal. And what's what's the orange drink? <laughs> Says Miss Universe Canada. <laughs> what's the orange drink? Pineapple. Crushed orange pineapple. juice? The orange drink. Sunny D. No, the no. orange drink you drink when you go out. Oh, an Aperol spritz. spritz. Oh. <laughs> Holy. Okay, I could fuck with an Aperol spritz That's too. It. With olives in it. I would. Maybe even Aperol spritz with olives? Okay, so I guess in Spain or Portugal, that's like the authentic way of having an Aperol spritz with olives in it because it's the same like taste or something. So they one guy made it for me here and it's like apparently the way to make it. All right. I'm going to try that. Yeah. Noted. So for my appetizer, I would have with the Wagyu. And uh, bone marrow. I would get one of those smoked mascal drinks. Like Ooh, a hash cocktail. Is a, this is a great answer. <laughs> yeah. I don't love the smoked mascal. No? You no, the no. Bone but it's like, I feel like that's very Yeah, fitting. I know. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel weird having a smoky drink. For dinner with the steak, a nice Melbach wine. It's a Tevi and it tastes great with a mm-hmm. steak. Uh, dessert. I would go a light white wine. Like a dessert, with a dessert wine? Dessert. Yeah. Like an iced wine almost? Yeah. Solid answer. That sounds Hash. delicious. Yeah. Hash, great answer. Danny, you want to adjust yours? Danny, give us a crazy like 10 No, I can't say mine again. Episode. You can go listen to the last podcast because it goes on for like 15 minutes. <laughs> give us a brief. Overview. There's like 10 courses and oh. it's like exactly. Hey, what's the highlight? Um, Oh, well, they're all. It's just a, no, it's a you're, variety. You're, you're making it to heaven or in the other place. I'm going to heaven. Okay. And yeah. what's what do you like? What are you bragging to your friends about when you got up there? Like, I My whole meal. Best no, the best. What's the uh, one part? Steak. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Steak. steak? I feel or like the steak best pasta. Of, or the best pizza. Or my Caesar salad. Or my burrata. I have like oh, a 20 course meal. I love that. But now I want to adjust. Simple, you know? like it's yeah. Oh, no, no. That's why I need like breaks in between. Yeah, good I have like stuff. drinks for all of them. Like I need like a really like full bodied red wine. I want one spicy margarita, an espresso martini with tequila, water, and then Diet Coke. Did you have a special water too? You wanted like Evian I wanted, or something? I wanted like Voss water, just like in a glass bottle, yeah. something rich. <laughs> I like that. Do you, guys, nice. do you guys know like a lot of famous chefs? No. No? Do you? I'm not, not like, a foodie. Not like, like, Personally. You, you guys are like my famous chefs. Yeah. <laughs> I used to watch actually the Food Network as a kid every day. Yeah, I, I do love the food. But like I haven't like in a long time followed. Like who would you want to cook for you? Ooh, or like, would that's you, a good like, one. Yeah, like... Say like I don't want you guys because I mean, everyone. Friend, you guys are my mom. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. hundred percent. Okay, wait. So let's I talk about that. Yeah, let's, ha- talk. let's talk about that TikTok. Because wow. I remember when that happened, I literally texted Ricky. I said, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, go look at their TikTok. Yeah. Honestly, I was I was speechless. Like, yeah. you, you tell them. Gordon, um, Gordon Ramsay duetted us. I was in the video. I was my, not helping. My, my <laughs> but I was in, it wasn't my her meal. idea. It was <laughs> Hash's idea. It was Hash's cooking, Hash's idea. But I was present um and i got all these notifications on tiktok and we were sitting on the couch waiting to go out for dinner and i was like everyone kept tagging gordon ramsay but people do that because we make a lot of his recipes anyways so i went to like look at the notification and like it was on his page and i double clicked to make sure it was gordon's actual page and then i was like hash and he's like what i was like are you gonna die right now he's like why i was like you're gonna freak out and Gordon Ramsay is like his be all end all like favorite chef. We always steal his recipes. Literally, like I learned how to cook the perfect steak from from Gordon him. Ramsay. So like, yeah. ride or die fan. And I was like, Gordon Ramsay just derided you. But I was like, but wait, he actually said you did an amazing job and said I did nothing, which is fine. And uh, yeah, he literally almost cried. I, I was, I almost cried. I didn't. I thought it was fake. You know, like yeah. you see these videos of like 
other famous people like reacting, you know, yeah. they stitch yeah. it together. And I'm yeah. just like, no way, this is real. And then I like, yeah, dug deep into it. I'm just like, holy, no way. Like, like he's an icon to me. That's such yeah. a good feeling. Well, he's like, an yeah. icon in general. I feel yeah, like, like everyone knows who like, Gordon Ramsay is. Yeah. Yeah, that, like, that's what I'm saying. There's so many probably And he's always chefs. making fun of people. Like, you know, like yeah, he's he always shitting you. on people's stuff. And he's like, no, you shouldn't do that. But like, it was such a positive like oh man I'm like, from more him. than just positive like, like he said you did a great job or yeah, amazing job like, yeah oh man and you're right Alyssa. That, he said you did nothing yeah he yeah. said what are you gonna do and what are you doing I, young when lady she started rolling it she's like oh okay there we go <laughs> what? oh yeah because i did yeah. something yeah man, i know that is so it's such like a feel-good moment oh my god that was and, and yeah. i feel like normally it's like a slow i mean that's what the cool thing about tiktok is like gordon ramsay can watch you cook and that like would have never happened without social TikTok. media, right? I mean, TikTok in particular, but I feel like it's so cool to have like someone that big. Like we'd be happy with like, we have a couple other chef TikTokers that yeah. have like four or five million followers that we love. And like even to, for them to see it, we think is so cool. But like Gordon's like the be all end all. One, so. of, the, one of them, like one of uh, my favorites followed us back after the Gordon yeah, the video. Golden Balance is like, like a big TikToker that we love, yeah. but he followed us from Gordon's video too. You guys so ever like, like talk to like other like chef TikToks? Not as much as we no, should. We no, actually, we we're don't, anti-social. Yeah, yeah, we're very anti-social. <laughs> you guys need to be like more, you have to like collabs. do some just, collabs. And yeah. yeah, I know. I just feel like, you know, like it's too much reaching out and be like, hey buddy, like sometimes like. Job. Yeah, yeah no. that, but I just feel like I'm, we're not like ready for that. I want to yeah. like build a little bit more and like get more comfortable and i don't know we'll see but i know I feel but like sometimes i feel like we, we we're never going to be comfortable we got to just do it yeah because when you say okay we'll do it when we hit like quarter of a million then you hit yeah. a quarter you're like, ah maybe when we hit half ah yeah. maybe we hit but this is the problem a lot of the people we like connect with or like follow none of them are foodies and then or if they're foodies none of them are toronto so yeah. like there's not like a couple or like a person here in toronto that we've like connected with that yeah, could just true. come over so it's time to fly <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, like, which why don't you like, too, line yeah. up some like vacations where you do content and stuff? Because again, you guys have to eat even on vacation, and yeah. your That's setup true. is a tripod on your phones, right? Yeah. Like Literally, you could yeah. do it fairly like, easy. Yeah. Bring it in a yeah. little carry-on bag, and let's say Miami, you guys are gonna okay. Maybe you have a thing again. Remember, a four-hour afternoon with someone is like five pieces of content for Literally. you. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you have your appetizer. You have like make a salad, make your main, make your yeah. dessert. Yeah. No, yeah, that's, that's what we did. Remember when we did that? When I came over that one night, I feel like you guys made like three TikToks from that one dinner. Yeah, we did. Maybe yeah. even more. The actually the Big Mac salad actually was a big hit. Yeah, that, that was, was. That, and that was good. That yeah. was a big good. hit. Yeah. yeah. Did it do well? Did yeah, it, it did. Well? It did very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yeah. yeah. We'll do a live tonight. We'll set up yeah. both. We'll set yeah. up mine and our my live and your live because yeah. I actually have my spare phone now. So because I, I hate when you go on live, you can't text. No, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. just like and to, to have a good live, you need to do at least an hour. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. else it's not even re really worth it. Yeah. But then it's like, what if people are texting me? What if I want to text my friends back or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now I have my spare phone just just so I can text. It's nice that she yeah. do it on either our, mine or hers, and one of us usually. Yeah. I'm one of you guys use usually it. I'm on the phone and she puts it on her phone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she loves she loves the lives. I love a good live. Do you ever? You feel? actually like the live more. I, I hate like going, going on, on the live. live and then but when, when he's I on get live, on the live, I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. He loves it. Loves I'm it. just answering questions. I have a question for you guys. Has doing these TikToks together affected your relationship in any type of way? Great question, Danny. Oh, I'm okay. If anyone knows me, I'm like super and don't say controlling because I wouldn't put that. Word. I would. I wouldn't say she's a bitch. She's not controlling. <laughs> Just but I'm a perfectionist and I like really believe I have like an eye for things. So when I like believe in myself, I like take it to a whole new extreme. And it's like unfair for me to expect someone else to like see what I see or to like also put in what I put in. So we've gotten better at it, but I definitely can like begin to lose she my can shit. can be a little bit snappy sometimes. Yeah. But, but for like, the most part, no, I would say no. I'm very easy going. So like I'm just, I go with the flow kind of thing and I'm just like, you don't need to like overreact on those little things. Like it's going to work out at the end of the day. <laughs> but she just like, no, no, it's not happening right now. But yeah, but sometimes our communication's off. I feel like so mature speaking this way. <laughs> sometimes our <laughs> communication's off. So like, I feel like when we sit down and like have a good conversation, yeah. we like understand where each other was coming from. So then we but like, feel say like, like learn for the next time. Yeah. Well, so it's gotten a lot better. If we're filming together and we're like bickering back and forth, that's just because of work. 
as soon as the camera's off, it's it's over. It's done. There's no fighting. Yeah, it's like we don't fight like, on a, like a normal like, day. It's like it never happened. Like it's yeah. just like it's like normal. We can work really sometimes. like separate you know, it. Yeah, you have like little problems with your coworker, but then as soon yeah. as you leave work, it's it's fine. But yeah. Hash, you are yeah. very understanding. You're like Hash is a very nice guy, and Alyssa, I I've only seen the good side of you, but I know you can be a bitch. Like you fully told me numerous times that you are a bitch. Yeah, and like mad. when I competed for pageants, I was just a ball of stress and I would just take it out on everyone around me and I was just like a loose cannon because there was so much going on for like one person to handle but I feel like I've grown a lot since then and because of those experiences I've like learned to like control myself better and like speak to people differently I yeah. feel like the next fight you guys have hashing about like, Alice just before you get mad just remember what you said on the podcast <laughs> we've gotten better communication is key blah 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 yeah the one good thing though that I do love about what we do is like we can separate it so it, like even if we stopped doing TikTok it wouldn't affect our relationship yeah. which is a good thing yeah, yeah it's like separate so, so like it's good yeah. but yeah for the most part I'd say it's like pretty good pretty smooth yeah. sailing just like maybe when we film ads it's like a little bit more added She's pressure. She's a control freak yeah. there. So like, control. I just like don't want to like mess up and like, yeah. She just wants it to be perfect. Yeah. Or so. like sometimes too perfect is too. Yeah, not, but you're talking to a pageant good. girl. I get it. But perfection like, is like perfection the only is choice. Good, but like there's like making it look mm. too perfect that it's like the audience are going to be like, it's just too much, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where you want to just chill a little bit and just... Yeah. We, I forget which ad we filmed. I think it was McDonald's where it like went so smooth. There was so much fun. And we like look at each other. We're like, wow, we can actually we film without <laughs> screaming at each other. Wait, you guys did a McDonald's ad? Yeah. yeah. That's good. We yeah. didn't post it on our page. It was oh, just on... Was posted on there. Uh, UGC? Yeah. yeah, it was just still, on still sick. Yeah. yeah, it was really cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We love yeah. McDonald's. What's the coolest sick. brand deal you guys have done? I was just going to ask that. Um, honestly, all of ours have been great. I think you have to say that. No, I literally love them all. Like yeah. I, I, we've honestly, I won't do something like I don't like the company or like it doesn't fit us. Like which I don't is want what you should be doing. It has to be as organic as possible. Yeah, yeah I don't want to just like reach just to. You I know, think grab. the smoothest one we had was milk up. Oh yeah, back in the milk day up. we did milk up. Uh, back yeah, in the just day. like pretty much. You're talking like we've been on this for like years. It feels like a while. <laughs> um, Hasn't even hit 12 months yet. I know. But you guys haven't even been 12 months yet? No. 12 months, uh, August month. 7th. Wow, and you guys are at 200. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you guys at right now? 195. Oh, so yeah. basically 200. Yeah. yeah, but the milk up, we did um, a dessert. It's an Egyptian dessert called Um Ali. Did I yeah, say it right? Yeah, yeah. Um Ali. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ali. Um, yeah, and it was like, I don't know, it was such a good one. It was just so like us, you know, like yeah, it, it they didn't loved feel it like too. an ad. Yeah. It felt like you were just we're And just I really liked the the last two we just did with Farm Boy. We did um, a tuna Thai salad, which is like one of my favorite things to eat in the summer. And then with Kanor. Oh, Kanor. No, Kanor's um, our chicken stir fry, which actually turned out amazing too. So yeah. I really like the ones that are like cooking and like pretty much the content we do. But yeah, those have been. Wait, goes, so you were just saying before how like simple of an eater you are. But I, I see you guys don't eat simple. No, that's true. Hash is cooking. Bro, you <laughs> like, think it, Okay, this is, wait, this, this is behind the scenes yeah, this for is everybody. A, I'm going to tell you guys right now. This is now a little secret that nobody knows. That it is not easy to pick food. Because sometimes for I don't me? know what I... No, for oh, her, it's easy. It's me that like I don't know what I want to cook. So she doesn't help at all. Because I don't know like, what I want to eat. She's like, whatever. She's like, whatever I just want soup. soup. Whatever, just give me soup. Whatever it is. And I'm happy. Like, <laughs> How have you guys not done a soup series yet? Oh, I have a lot of soup. You, can't, you clearly has, don't watch made, my videos because I make a lot of soup on that yeah. channel. And I actually made her soup. You guys aren't day. my target audience That's fine. on my fair, TikTok. Fair. Yeah. yeah, I made her soup the other day. It was um, actually pretty good. Yeah, I am a, like when I grew up, I never ate anything other than like chicken fingers. Actually, I don't even think I ate chicken fingers. I ate burgers, french fries, like anything starch. That's all I would eat. Pasta, like pizza, basic stuff. Um, but then as I started traveling more, like going to Las Vegas and, and Bahamas and all these cool places, like I had seafood and raw fish and all this. So I think it opened my eyes to like such a wide variety of food and then he introduced me to like all this arab food so that's something i've never even had before too so i think now i like love so much more that i don't like a simple meal except for soup <laughs> yeah. but it, it's hard like like to come up with these ideas like every day day in and day out because yeah. you gotta We're eat every day in right? a roadblock right now are you guys like, like meal prepping like on sunday you're sitting here like hey what are we eating this week and like figuring it out or is it just like day by day like what just, are we in the mood for I thought, answer that question it's huh? 
day by day. We do <laughs> Does not. Alyssa want to plan this? I would love to plan, <laughs> but Lover cannot think of something I, for three days from now. I, I can't do it. Because that say like we plan to have steak on Thursday and Thursday comes and I'm just like, I don't want steak right now. <laughs> I am not in the mood. Yeah. And then I've, that's that's when it I'll start hating doing TikToks, you know, yeah. and I, feel I, like, so I agree with them. Yeah. Honestly. And it, I, like it gets frustrating. Yeah. yeah. So like, because now you're not eating just for like purpose. You're eating for a job too. Yeah. yeah but it's also it like, can't be easy. Like when you have to like go to the grocery store and stuff. And like if weeks I mean, are like, busy. Alyssa has no job. So, so right now, like <laughs> right. I'm off for the summer. So like it's easy. But for us, like we right now, we both don't. Okay, but what's so our biggest? One of our biggest problems with filming content. It's coming up with ideas. No, what's another one? Is okay. Ash, come on! You prepared for <laughs> this. <laughs> she told you this no, before you got here. You didn't read the cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You didn't what's read our the memo. Problem. Um, one of our biggest problems is we tend to go to the grocery store five times oh, we because forget we forget ingredients. ingredients all the time and that's probably the most frustrating thing i come up with the ideas i told you to bring a pen and a paper and write everything <laughs> down and she's like no i got it on my phone yeah and, and then we oh, oh my god we once went to the we were like oh we forgot we don't have garlic you said we had garlic we have to run back and then like we don't have time either go to go get time like that's one of our biggest things that like at least we could plan the grocery list yeah. even but the night honestly, before like, i can go get everything and then it seems cooking. stressful before we cook and we, then we eat and then add after all that's done like it's just so wholesome at the end yeah of the like we it's literally just, love it but yeah like relax but then like, you get to, oh my god what a long day you get let's to watch post a movie it. you guys get to post and like yeah. especially the ones that do really well you get someone to like share it with yeah, yeah. Like, and like people so love our lovely. recipes which is so cool and like we want to do a lot like in the future with like providing food for people who don't have food or may not have access so i like that people like love our recipes and then hopefully we can like give and, back and i feel like i'm more like uh put things together like lately like i like that like, like a freestyle yeah i freestyle yeah. my food like you give me a bunch of ingredients and be like do something with that and i can make something good with that instead of like following a recipe like planning, and that's yeah. like that stresses me out more if i like i have to follow a recipe yeah you like a freestyle i can't follow recipes yeah. like i don't cook anymore but i used to cook a lot do you cook danny yeah Oh, you like to like, cook. Yes, like, Danny. I love Danny cooking. Yeah, yeah. You makes like, cooking. like salads though. But no, like you don't. When was the last time you made a steak? Uh, no. When was the last time you cooked seafood? I told you I don't make seafood. Okay. So I can make scallops. When was the last time you made scallops? How do you eat your scallops? It's just a bit of butter. Danny basically eats salads. And, like, do you overcook okay, well, the butter? At least she though. cooks and no, like I mean, you get no, 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 I got so scared. <laughs> my mom doesn't eat fish, and then my grandparents like fish, and like as they got older, my grandmother couldn't cook anymore. So she's hmm. going Tuesday nights and she had to learn how to make scallops for them in the way that they liked it. Oh my God. But I haven't made that in a while. I haven't been cooking a lot this summer. You should have got scallops. Yeah, today. Wait, what's oh. up? Okay, tell us dinner for tonight. Dinner for tonight, I'm cooking. Sorry, guys. Whoa, okay, uh, <laughs> guys. I'm glad you made it to the end of this episode. Yeah, yeah. Hash, I actually got to, I got to. Don't worry, I'll, like I'll a, make the steaks. <laughs> Hash is on steak duty and I'm making this like arugula, mushroom, cold like salad. It's okay. a steak and salad. Is there it's a parmesan one of, in it? Yeah, it's one of my favorite. You didn't even read the ingredients list. No, I didn't. Parmesan, I just, lemon, I just, like salt, I said, pepper, yeah. oil, flow, mushrooms. I follow along. And <laughs> and I'm providing can, the barbecue. That's all I'm providing. Yeah, me. so it's one of my favorite steak salad recipes. So Okay, we love this. Yeah. yeah. But I want to ask you guys something because I'm currently in this right now. Do you ever have like a creative block? Yes. Where you're just like, <laughs> I don't oh. know what to, I, I can't. I can't think of anything. I have no creative juices. I'm just creating content because I know that's what the algorithm wants and that's what the algorithm needs. So I'm just putting shit out there. And like, I haven't had a TikTok that I've made. You have a couple that you're like, okay, this I'm okay with this. Yeah. But there hasn't been one lately that I've made that I'm like, I feel really good about this. This is going to do well. And I feel good about it. Whether it did yeah. well or didn't yeah. do well. Yeah. There's none that I really love because I feel like I'm just in this creator block. Like I've done more get ready with me's in the last month and a half than I've done in in the last year and a half just because those I actually do, do good for us yeah those yeah. do good yeah. for us no but yes right now it's been three weeks yeah we creative are, block <laughs> like we don't know what to do like it, it's hard too because you like almost feel like you've done everything now we need like yeah. a new series to kind of like spark like, our like, yeah interest. we just don't know what kind of series to I make <laughs> yeah. it's just so I want hard a new series so bad i'm just like yeah i don't know what it is like don't yeah, you got to do 30 days of something. Like, it's not even 30 days. Well, it's just like a, yeah. a new, like, that new highlight that goes on the top of your page. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, okay, you have your ads and you've got your get ready with me and you have your, you know, I did dating tips. And the last summer I did the, give me one, like, one piece of advice you'd give to, like, yeah. your 
your partner. Yeah. I did one last year. It didn't do well, but at least I had fun. It was you easy content. Fun and you were talking to and a lot was, of people. I was talking to a lot of people. I have not a fucking single idea in the world what my next, like, what's my next thing? Yeah. Yeah. And that's well, why I'm like I'm putting well, out content right now. It's just shit. It's all shit. Well, that's how I feel about like having a creative job in general. Like even writers of a television show. Like you don't have a you have a roadblock. You're not working. Like that's like the problem yeah. with like creatives. Yeah, like book which, writers. They're, they same with them. Yeah, but then you're like stuck. But that's like normal because write a like kids book, yeah. a picture book. <laughs> yeah, just make pictures. No, yeah. No, we're literally in it right now. Yeah. Right now, it's just we started it's hard. a cute. Daddy's little, like, yeah, I can relate. I'm actually trying to think in my head. I'm like, mm, do I have any ideas for you guys? Yeah. I, I think what we were talking or we were on live the other day asking our audience like what they would want to see. But I think we got some ideas of doing like cooking around the world. We focus so much on Arab food because that's his culture. But we haven't tried like a bunch of different other ones. So no, I, I, I think we should do healthy. All these people from New York that try different foods around the world in New York City. Yeah. And they and go to different restaurants. And yeah. it's actually yeah. so fun to watch. Like yeah. just going to see them try mm-hmm. like and having different foods from different cultures. Yeah. yeah. So... For yeah, you guys, I think, yeah, trying different food, but then I think also collabing, finding local chefs, whether they're big or small. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And just inviting them over and then, hey, it's a new series. Like every Tuesday, you've got three three, three dishes that you make with somebody you else. You know what's hard about collabing with both of us? It's just, we are already, there's two, two of, of us, us, right? Yeah. yeah. You know? Like but I would, ste- yeah. but I would step out. I would yeah. step out for the collab and, like, and then I'd like come in yeah, and like com- say something stupid. Commentary, or yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, or I'm, like try the food after and give my review. Do, do you know yeah. what the worst about asking? Um, like when you go on a live and you ask your your followers for help. Um, yeah. It's not always your followers. Well, no. Sometimes it's just like they're like, oh, we want more get readies with you. It's like, well, I did it. Nobody watched it. Oh, we love your travel <laughs> vlogs. So you, you love them. That's why they do four thousand views, right? <laughs> oh, we love when you Ricky fighting with his live. Yeah. People. <laughs> like, we love when you do X, Y, and Z. I was like, then first off, I recognize your name. You don't like any of them. Have I you done I, date spots in Toronto? That could be a good one. That? I haven't really gone on dates lately, so that's kind of a tough yeah, one. Yeah, maybe you can yeah. now. You can do it for the content. Um, yeah, I could. I have I have one, a good idea that... Hopefully 30 dates, might, 30 so days, 30 dates, this, 30 spots. Yeah, fuck out <laughs> Do I find the love of my life? I got way too much fucking shit to do that. <laughs> no, but I have a new series that I might try. Um, date activities. That's a good one. Yeah, so 30 just, date um, activities. That date would... activities, right? Because like I always talk about like, you know, Oh my God, you can do that around the city. So, yeah. well, my idea is, so I'm doing, I got, um, have you seen those TikToks where people make bottle art, like with shattered champagne bottles or whatever? Yeah. yeah. So you shatter a champagne bottle, you lay it out on a frame, you pour like epoxy or whatever, or like a resin, resin. on it. And so I just went to the club to get a, a Mr. Wolf to grab a whole bunch of empty bottles. So I have like Class Azul, um, Ace of Spades, 1942. Excuse me. And I'm going to do it with my mom on Wednesday. The problem is too, it's like you have to find someone that you're okay filming content with. Like yeah. not every girl that I go on a date with is going to be wants like... Wants to be in your yeah, TikTok. Wants to be in my TikTok. Or, hey, do you mind filming this of me? Like, yeah. ugh, cringe. Yeah. Like the She's most like, cringe thing in the world. never talk to you again. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might do that because then I could just do like date night activities, just not show the other person. And just like bring Danny with me, bring my just, mom, yeah, bring one just of the bring, Yeah, bring some of your friends. So, and yeah, be like, so, pay a girl hourly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, now we're into that kind of dating. Yeah. There's the, like that. Then there's like pottery but making. But it's not really dating. It's for content. Yeah. I know. Or I just need to find another like dating content girl, which there's so many of, the, so many of them yeah. in Toronto. But then it's like, then I got to spend time with them. You got to collab. What if you like them? Then I need to spend time with them. What if you like them? What if I don't? Then I'm just wasting like four hours of my life. Well, you got a video. We saw yeah, this I girl. I with Danny. At least I know you I like, like Danny. You like concerts, right? I know Sarah May, did, yeah. Yeah, did you yeah. see that? Yeah. I, we're, we are talking. So I actually donated a pair of tickets to her. Yeah. Because I love mm-hmm. the idea. I can't obviously do that anymore because I just I did my d- wedding date thing last year or two years ago. got way out of control. What happened? Tell just, us this story. I don't know about this story. <laughs> so I did it, right? Yeah. I did this wedding date TikTok and I need a date to a wedding. It went mega viral. I gained, I don't know, five, ten thousand followers. I my DMs, I had at least, you know, two thousand DMs, like literally two thousand. Holy. And so then I made it a contest. Okay, stitch it, blah, blah, blah. And I had a couple girls that stitched it that just I didn't I didn't seem to want to vibe with. You yeah. Know, it's not my fault. I'm just yeah. don't vibe with you. And then you get people like sending you like really fucked up messages. But like, you didn't pick me, like that's so fucked up, like we're like meant to be, blah, 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 blah. And then one girl from like Romania like somehow got my number and started calling me. And then I blocked the number. She started calling me on WhatsApp. I blocked the number. Then she was like making fake Instagram accounts and like messaging me. But like I'm okay, that's like some very creepy. dark shit. That's creepy. So I said I'll never again do anything like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, when I saw Sarah do it the first time, I think she did like the first one she did organically. I don't yeah, think it was yeah. like it was meant to go viral. I think she just like wanted to do a good deed. 
And I saw it. I'm like, I love what you're doing. Like, I'm so fucking here for this content. So I asked her, I was like, look, what, what I go to, I have a lot of concert tickets. Like, let me know yeah. which concert you want. If I can help out, like, I'd love to just donate you a set of tickets. Like, I don't need the, I don't want the promo. Yeah. I don't want to do this with you. I don't want to pick your winner. I'm just like, I'm here to give you the tickets. Yeah, like, yeah. No strings attached. Like, I'm just, I'm so here for it. Yeah. Cause like, yeah. I think the last one, she took up a guy who's like kind of blind nice. to Post yeah. Malone. Well, and he's like, I'll be the only guy you could take me to the concert and I still won't see him. I got like 5% of my vision left. I was like, fuck yeah, take that dude. Yeah, yeah. take him. Um, well, yeah, so, so I sweet. got a couple weird ones and I said I'll never do it ever again just because yeah. the... the f- like the aftermath of it was really fucked up. Yeah, that's weird. Really yeah, that's fucked weird. up. That's People weird. be crazy out here. Yeah, so I won't do it, but I, I love that for her, and I think that's amazing. I'm so here for yeah, that Yeah, it's a cool series. But, uh, yeah, I love that series for her. And she obviously doesn't have a creative block because she just started that fucking yeah. series. Yeah, yeah. But the rest we of us are fucked. We got to get like, out of bro, our creative block. Should we take people to concerts? We don't even go to concerts. We bring people to our kitchen? Yeah, yeah we maybe just that's your thing. You start nah, cooking for Lisa, people, and people would freak out, and people review the food for you. Alyssa doesn't well, want no, no one I to know where we Well, I thought about doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. But I also thought about doing that in our building, or we haven't even done it with friends yet. Yeah, well, you did it with me. Just yeah. you, and that's it. You have like random. You have like random friends. Oh, well, and over. Griff. Griff comes over. Yeah, I have yeah. people come over, up, cook with you, eat your food, give it a taste test. Yeah, we, like because sometimes they just like to just see a like different make face. Like I have a really good idea. We do do a park one. Yes, that. But we should do like an around the world series, but invite people of that culture, cook them their culture food and see like their review. See what they say. Yeah. That's a good idea. Like if it's good or not. Like Dan comes over and we cook him something Japanese. You really Shout out Dan. <laughs> Shout out Chinese. Dan. So their friend lives He's on Japanese my floor. He's Japanese and Chinese. Oh. Right? Yeah, How yeah. funny is that? So their fr- yeah. One of Hash's friends lives. He literally like, lives yeah. down, the down the hall from me. We should have brought extra food. We could have invited him over. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, like, never been here. do something like that. What's That'd be the cool. Hardest food do you find like to cook? Or is there anything you've never done yet? Like any type Ooh, of cuisine? Actually, mm. octopus. I've never cooked octopus. Oh yeah, let's talk about this. Apparently, it's easy, guys. We is want it? a I full. Know, guys, Scott Hellman said last week on the podcast, Did and he was like, "Because that's like something he would make for someone." He said it's very easy and it's yeah. like really good. But like we want like um, what's his name? Suser Lee. Suser Lee. Yeah. That'd be a great the famous club. chef. Yeah. He just did a video with his son of like. A making massive octopus. octopus like i want to do that it's yeah. so big you guys yeah. need to get a hold of them and do a collab with them well they just you moved in. Else? oh never mind from toronto <laughs> sorry go ahead. no 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 go maddie madison oh yeah. yes oh. have you guys done chef rang no, no. Uh, oh find you know chef him. rang yeah. yeah get a hold of him somehow we're gonna meet yeah maddie madison actually with her later this year i don't think we were allowed to say Okay, so it's all set. We'll cut that yeah. off with the podcast. <laughs> yeah. We'll just cut them off. We'll just, we'll just keep playing. <laughs> yeah. uh, but yeah, Maddie no. Matherson would be a really great club. Yeah. That's actually a great person that's like in the city we can reach out to. Well, no. And it, yeah. He has like a lot of kitchens. But even a like lot anybody of related to like the food network in general. Because yeah. like, I don't know, you guys need to apply to be on some food network show too. I want to, yeah, I really want to do a we show. We want to go on that Gordon, Gordon Ramsay's food stars. Do you guys kind apply of, to any of them? Not yet. Not yet. Um, they're just, I think the first season came out, but when it's casting again, we're going to. I think it's like um, an entrepreneurial content creation cooking show, which is like literally our vibe. Yeah, perfect. See if Gordon remembers you. There's Maybe so many new me. cooking shows on Netflix. I feel yeah. like there's a new one that it's pops crazy. up every week. Mm-hmm. It's nuts. But it's like great. I think it would be See, so cool. That scares me. See, because like I'm so comfortable in my own kitchen. Baby, we got to get you uncomfortable. Yeah, I know. But like. Well, see, you can cook here like, today. You can't. Yeah. No, he I have a like, gas stove. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. That's it's, true. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, we need yeah. a gas stove. But I feel Been like. used twice. <laughs> you will grow if you are uncomfortable. That's facts. <laughs> No, but I agree. You guys need to do take that. I guess that's part of your next step too. Yeah, you, mind you, you've only been doing this for a year. Yeah, we just started crushing too. it. Yeah. yeah, it's actually crazy. we're so thankful. I love it so no, much. It's actually it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little stressful sometimes, but like honestly, okay. What's the most stressful part then? It, it making enough. Uh, yeah, like, or coming up with ideas like that's yeah. that stress. Like, like imagine, I always think like imagine. I mean, people do and do well, but yeah. like the way we succeeded was three videos a day. I know people that post like once a day or once a week, so I know it's possible. But I'm so stuck on the way we started that I'm scared to like lose that. But three videos a day is a lot when you're like cooking and you have to eat it. So uh, like, and lately that's what we, it's tough. we looked at some stuff and they're saying quantity, uh, quality, quality over, over quantity. quantity. Because the algorithm kind of changed a little bit, which we've also noticed. So we just have to kind of keep adapting. See, it's so funny because everybody s- says the same things: quality over quantity. The problem is, what do you know? What is what? Sorry, how do you know what's quality? True. Yeah. Right. Because some videos. There's days well. where I'm like, again, 
I know my audience now. I've I've got this figured out, and boom, it fucking doesn't work. And I'm like, that was a good TikTok. That was, yeah. that was a quality TikTok. Yeah. And then you do a stupid, you know, sound effect one, and boom, it takes off. You're like, that was shit. Yeah. That was fucking shit. It's hard to fully understand what the algorithm is because it's the most fucked up algorithm on any changing. platform, and it's always and it's, changing. Yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like for us though, it's the only time like our videos consistently do pretty well because I think that like people like always come back for us because we're so consistent on like what we're like what our style of our video is and how many times we post. You're also giving some like people something like in return. Like yeah. it's like they're watching yeah. you cook something and they could go home Learn and make that recipe. same, like, exactly. same recipe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Whereas more, like what's someone going to do with Ricky's like I'm dating. Like, but, but it's yeah like that's what I'm saying in the sense like not that your content <laughs> sorry, not but great like, though but you're doing great but like yeah, there's just I, nothing I provide zero like entertainment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, I make people smile. But why yeah. don't you switch the narrative to giving tips to guys? I tried that once. My audience is 85% women. Fuck. So I yeah. tried that once. I said, okay, ladies, here's some advice for your boyfriends. You send them this TikTok. And I did like four or five based off that. And they all f- like mega flop. Okay, how about mega tips flop. for women about what guys want? Uh, I've, or is that too... Some of them, like some of them do well, sexy. some of them don't, right? Yeah. Some of them do, some of them don't. Like I've yeah. said... You know, I don't know. I did one the other day, which I was like, you know, this is good. This is right up my alley. Uh, well, I did it was good, but I'm like, you know what? This could potentially do very well. And it was um, tip, three tips on how to be, have more fun on dates. Yeah. Because yeah. it's good for guys or girls. And it was like three very generic, basic things that easily make a date more fun. I did it. Did terribly. Yeah. Like five, 5,000, 6,000 views. Oh. And it's just like, you know what? Like I did one earlier where I was like, why why it's hard dating when you're 30 and it just that one just did well did a hundred something right yeah so, so like at the beginning like how did it start for you like like where was your creative mind at the beginning when you oh, you didn't know my story how i started on tiktok no no i never told you Alyssa, yeah. did i tell you i don't you know if me. i know i got lucky so i started tiktoking like at the beginning of covid just like everybody else i had a yeah. couple of videos go viral with like my mom and dad like stupid ones yeah so i maybe had like I 10 or 15k that. on tiktok and then when we were on the cast road trip I was maybe at maybe 20,000 by then, max. Yeah. I did uh, the boyfriend application. Oh, no, sorry. I did the wedding one. I needed a wedding date. That one went mega viral. I don't know, a million, two million. But I, the thing about that is I gained like 30, 40,000 followers. From like that. that. Like within a week, I gained 40,000 followers. Like, I think uh, like Nar City picked it up. Blog Teal picked it up. A whole bunch of people picked it up. Then while we're on the cast road trip, I may be at like 60, 50, 60,000 followers, maybe 40. And then, let's say 50, give or take. And I did the boyfriend application. And I wasn't doing a lot of dating content yet. I yeah. was just like random shit. I was promoting cast. I was, I was just saying random shit. I didn't have, I, was, I wasn't fully focusing on the yeah. niche yet. And then I did the boyfriend application. And then that one went off like four or five million. And I basically gained again another 30 or 40,000 followers. So, something stupid. Yeah. I wonder if like you being on the road trip in the States had an effect. On your growth, because um, that so that I wonder. That I, don't, I, I wonder in, if that has to. Do like, I was in Texas when yeah, that maybe. TikTok went off. I will. I'll. I remember the. I remember everything about that. Yeah. I made the TikTok like literally. I was taking a shit. I think. Like, I, <laughs> I, was, say, I was taking a shit in a Walmart, and I saw the TikTok. I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, I I talked about dating a little bit. Yeah. I am single. Like, whatever. It's a thirst trap. I plugged in the photos, and it like literally TikTok just did it for you. It's one of those ones where you pick five photos, boom, yeah, it's done. Yeah, yeah. Filled it in. Posted it, um, went to bed, woke up the next day, and it's at like a million. And you're just like, what the fuck? fuck? And you see the notification because Instagram's notifications still give you the exact numbers. And like TikTok at the time gave you the exact numbers. I think I woke up to like, it was like 50,000 likes, 10,000 comments, 20,000 followers, like 30,000 like shares or whatever. It was something stupid. I'm just like, holy fuck. Like this was overnight. I I was just like, what the fuck? And then, like, I check my emails, like, Nar City, blog to you, like, a whole bunch of blogs, re- like, some random, like, Can we French repost? Blog. Can we repost? Well, I was saying, hey, hey, we'd love to do an interview with you. We'd love to do this. We'd love to do that. And I didn't fully capitalize on it because I was just like, yeah, I'll do this if you do this for me. Yeah. So I was trying to get publicity for the, the road trip oh, and cast. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, a, you do this for me, I'll do this for that for you. And I was busy doing the road trip. So it's yeah. tough to set up times. There's people like, can you come on the podcast? Can you do this? Like, blah, blah, blah. And I was just busy. So I didn't do a lot of it. Or I didn't do, I only did the ones that like said they were going to share shit for cast. But yeah, that's how I basically got to 100K between like two, three videos. And then 
once we shut down cast, which was maybe two months after that, the boyfriend application went viral. I was like, yeah, I have all this extra time. Like I basically read into TikTok. I was like, hey, what do I need to do? Like, let me actually take this kind of serious and become like a creator. Yeah. And yeah, I basically hit 100K maybe a month later or something. So I was at 90K, I hit 100K early last year. And then I took it kind of seriously and I hit 200K some point this year, maybe March or April of this year. Nice, yeah. Which is wild. Like I just, I got lucky. I, I say this all the time. I always say like, what's my talent? You know, you guys, you guys cook together. You're yeah. cute together. Interracial couple, both good looking. Like that's what you guys have going for. I'm literally like, I, I just smile just and like, okay. Like did I, TikToks. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, I make cringe yeah. dating TikToks and people are like, well, it's so relatable. It's so I was like, first off, I'm not that relatable to you guys because like, again, I'm, you're all women. So you can't relate to me. Yeah. But then it's like, maybe the things I say, they're like, okay, well, I, I get it. Yeah. So it's like, I'm well, almost, people consume so much content nowadays that like your video pops up. Yeah. It's quick. It's like you a watch TV it, show you know. Them, yeah. Yeah. It's like oh, up, I recognize it's keeping this guy. Up with Ricky. What's Ricky saying again? <laughs> yeah. <to him? laughs> yeah. New channel coming yeah. to Utah. Yeah. Yeah. I say it all keeping time. up, up with Ricky. I got very lucky, and then maybe because I was in Texas at that time, because I still think like fifteen percent of my following is still from Texas. So you're saying we got to yeah. do a road trip where you? We're do trying your, to go to Texas. I'm going to you're Texas. I am going to Texas. I decided literally where this though? morning. Uh, I'm going to do Dallas and Austin. Yeah, Dallas is the best. So I'm going Thanksgiving weekend. Is Danny? I haven't told you yet. So there's a big pickleball tournament yeah, there. Yeah, thanks for the invite. There's a big pickleball tournament. You can't come. It's Thanksgiving. There's a big pickleball <laughs> tournament there. And then it's Austin City Limits. Bob Moses is no, playing. No, you're and not. Yeah, we're going, my family's going for Thanksgiving. Or me, my mom, my dad. Mumford's I, playing. I know. And you only knew that because I told you. Uh, well, I could have Googled it too. <laughs> She's heartbroken. Danny has to plan her own She's trip. She's heartbroken. <laughs> Danny can't come. It's Thanksgiving. She's not allowed to. I might be coming now. We're going. So we're leaving Thursday after work. Five o'clock. You're We're returning Monday night. No, no. Oh. 30,000 points on Aeroplan. You kidding? It's fucking free. <laughs> no, I thought I got to give you your Dallas trip. records. Yeah, yeah. I got to get some from you. I, it's, um, Dallas is the best. I, have, I, I, I do like Dallas. The state fair is a week later, which sucks. That would have been really cool if the state fair was at the same time. It's a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, that's how I, I got very lucky on TikTok again. Like I, sometimes I sit there, I'm like, how do I have all these followers? Like this is wild. I, yeah. yeah. I'm a fucking regular dude. Yeah, I'm thankful for TikTok. I was a hater at the beginning in, in COVID. Oh, I never went like on a lot, it. All my friends wanted me to download it. I'm just like, no, yeah, I, just, I would never watch it. I got Instagram. I don't need that. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. I was obsessed from right the beginning. Away. And like, yeah. I got a younger yeah. sister too. So I yeah, followed yeah. during COVID. Sophia, this is like right up her, her alley. Right up her alley and was yeah. her demographic. But I was also like weaved into like all like the young boys dancing. I'm like, why am I watching why this? Why am I like, watching yeah. these guys? 20 year olds dance. Noah Beck and all those But no, guys, I yeah. loved everything. All of the yeah. dances. Oh my God, we used to do it all the time. I know, so did I. Another thing about it, I did one dance with my mom on one of my, like on my personal TikTok once in COVID. But yeah, like I never used it. Never even really thought much about it. And I don't even know why, what made me like want to. I don't know. I, uh, what hit my me. sisters wanted me to do it so bad because, like, I cook. Right? Oh yeah, fun yeah. fact. Tash yeah. actually yeah. did it before I, me. I, I did by it by himself. Yeah, I did it. I started by myself, but like he only made three have, videos. I didn't have a cameraman, you know. Like I didn't know how to. <laughs> you do didn't my, have a producer. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. my sister would come down and help me, but like she's like, she I'm not coming do so down much. every like two days to yeah. help you film, right? Like she's got to do it yourself. You had a little like, viral video, I think, of like 30k yeah, or something. I did like uh, a video of like. Um, Best burgers in Toronto, and it got yeah. Like, and you did I a had couple like 1, cooking ones. Followers, and it got like thirty k, which views, is so good. Yeah. Which Wait, is good and for what? a thousand followers. I just want to know what's your favorite burger. Oh, happy uh, burger. Happy burger. Oh, Where's I've heard that? about it. I heard yeah, it's yeah. really you really haven't good, had it, but I haven't had it yet. It's, it's the, the best. here. Yeah. Oh, I gotta try. We did. We did Rudy's, uh, Maddie's. Maddie's patties, and uh, happy burger. Those three. You didn't try Cabanos. Cabanos. Yeah, Cabanos. Oh, that's the Greek one. It's that's up a little bit north, right? It's uh, there's the original ones near me on yeah, Saint yeah. Nicholas Street, but they also like have it. one. I, really? Yeah. Happy Burger's the best. What about the Greek guy that George always does? That's in a Liberty. Burger now. Drop. Burger Drop is. Burger good. Drop. I heard that is the best burger in the city. I've yet to be there. That's really good. Yeah. So you guys, you guys should yeah. go there. There's that yeah. new spot on Ossington. It starts with an M, right at the. End of the street, Ossington and Dendas. There. Manitas? Manitas. I heard their burger. I heard it's good. I was going to go I yesterday. Heard their burger there I heard it's is really amazing. Good. Yeah. Okay. I, I love some a good spot. burger. So yeah. We got to go find some more. What's burgers. the. This, well, well, we're getting to that point, but I'm going to. We'll wrap up with this unless Danny's got anything else. What was the feeling when you had your first viral video together? Oof. Which one was that? That was, was uh, that was the Arabic food. 
Oh, oh the, yeah. The okay. One where, like, yeah. Back in the day. So I've never eaten Arab. Back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> so, guys, I like, literally feel last like it's year, so long last ago. Last year. <laughs> last year. Last summer. It actually. was the first time Hash brought me food for, that his mom made. Um, called mohia yeah i say it right yeah yeah it's like, uh, <laughs> i never say it right everyone makes fun of me it's so like a stew dish like a stew yeah yeah and i just remember also the soup yeah kind of like a soup yeah so he's but thinking i'd love it yeah it's like kind of chunky too and i like try it and i was like oh my god no she i cannot eat this the and now i like i'm obsessed and i make it pretty good too yeah. now but like yeah i think that was one of our first viral videos because we caught on from there and we we're like oh they love middle eastern food her trying middle, middle eastern because my reaction so we just kept like, doing middle eastern food yeah and the one actually were like she got like we made falafels and she got <laughs> sauce on her like on the side of her mouth and i licked it and that video literally went viral well it's middle. no it's actually because that one did okay but some girl stitched us making fun of him licking my face and her video went viral to like nine million yeah she gained like seventy thousand followers we gained fifty thousand all from her making fun of us though yeah and our video got like i don't know two hundred thousand maybe but well, she she was the one that she was like surpassing us she had like four thousand followers when she, when she made that us. video and then she, she went like up to like seventy nine thousand, right, yeah. right and away. we're still like sitting at 50k and i'm just like how yeah, did this girl just steal us. our yeah. thunder yeah. just from hashtag but us? we needed her she did yeah, good. yeah she did, she did, she us did good. help us but yeah it's so weird that it's like someone else's which is why when gordon ramsay did ours we thought that would make a huge jump too but not in following it didn't no. which is interesting so it's like funny how things work like that but that was yeah the Arab food at the beginning was like the biggest viral yeah. video, but now it's coming, it's dying off. Like whenever, like yeah. we think Arab food will bring more followers and we do it now. But we have like, a lot more like uh, North American following too now. Yeah. So a lot of people love our Gordon Ramsay content and like other stuff. So I think now we have like a good range of like different meals and food yeah. and stuff. But yeah, it was a good moment. It was a good it was, uh, And we kept it going. I had to push harder. <laughs> More, was, more, more, more. I was going to ask one question, but I kind of already know the answer we already talked about. I was going to say, what was the coolest thing that happened to you because of TikTok? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. okay. I could yeah. say besides Gordon Ramsay, though, do you have one? I think for me, like... I didn't know we could get paid from TikTok. Oh, yes. You, on a business That's, sense, I think it blew your mind. But me on, like, trying new food like my eyes have been opened I, like i love food not so more. simple anymore yeah i'm like i literally like want to try the most extravagant thing i ate kidneys i would never eat kidneys chicken kidneys no it was lamb kidneys. lamb kidneys i never want them again but it's so cool to be like yeah i've tried kidneys yeah. he wants to make me brain heart like <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna feel good about it but i think like it's open like my experience is yeah. so many new things that and i was so close content. off yeah, but still, like, I think it's amazing that I got to, like, experience so much more and, like, even learn more about his culture and, like, what you grew up doing and... What I grew up eating. That's special yeah. to me. Aww, so cute. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> Such a wholesome moment. Yeah. I think that's the Love perfect her. time. Love yeah, Dan, you got anything else? No, I think that's it. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and now like, look at the sound <laughs> spikes up. Everyone's <laughs> like, if I have to watch them kiss one more time. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I think that's it, guys. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on and chatting with us. I love this. Thanks no, for thank having us. We hang out, we chat all the time, but like it's actually yeah, yeah. nice to sit down and just like yeah. chat. Because last time we, the three of us, have done this was at your house that one time. Yeah, yeah. we made Ricky a Big Mac salad, which was the oh. wish. and yeah. it was the the fried rice. Yeah, the tuna. Tar I mean, yeah, the, the crispy last time rice. we didn't make contact. I think the first time we all hung out is that night at Marble. The Sunday Way fun day. The, the day. The day. The day, not that the night. A, that was a fun I night. think that's where I was just that like, called you. I was like, what are you doing? You're like, come on lunch. And like, Hash is like, Hash is coming too. I think you finished work or something. Yeah, we just like no, knew. No, no, it was just. We just no. newly started dating maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know. We're just seeing fresh. each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was I said, fresh. let's go to Marble Sunday. for breakfast. And we were like, we didn't want to drink at all. But like, we ended up having one drunk. of the funnest days <laughs> ever. That was a really fun day. Imagine the pajama party at Parlor that one time. Oh, yeah. We were all there. It was really fun. Uh this that was a good really, time. We, yeah. We've had some. We've had some very good times. Well, um, thanks for having us. If people yeah. want to follow, find out more about you and follow you guys, where do they go? How do they find you? TikTok, Instagram, Facebook at Hash and Liss. That's it. Hash and Liss or a Liss. Liss L Y S S. Really? Yeah. yeah. Does anybody call you Liss? Nobody calls her Liss. No, lover. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. 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 Actually, my family TikTok, calls yeah. me Liss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I call Alyssa. Alyssa. Yeah. yeah. I think everyone calls She's you. She's like, or no, don't call lover. her. Lover. 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 
Uh, other <laughs> There's other words we're not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you made it to the end of this. We appreciate you. Give us a follow. Give them a follow. Like, subscribe, share us with your friends, and stay tuned to see what uh, we'll share some content from this today. We'll see what they make yeah. us. And yeah. other than that, stay sign tuned. off, pal. See you soon. Bye. Have a good night. You like to drink and to smoke to take away the pain. And I don't remember all of my mistakes in every eye. I got alone no one thing. You're not alright. I'm not alright. Oh, bro.